this video we're going to break apart Christopher Cross's song Sailing. And uh, to begin with, we need to tune our guitars a little differently. We're going to tune to an open D chord or open D tuning. So your low E string is going to be a D. A is going to stay put. D is going to stay put. G is going to go up a half to G sharp. Uh, B string is coming down to an A. And E string is coming down to a D. D, A, D, G sharp, A, D. And that's uh, what it takes for us to play the song. Um, the song is really, uh, for the most part, a series of triplets. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And they're always B string, G string, D string. So the right hand really isn't a whole lot to focus on for a lot of the song. It's always going to be that B, G, D. You have to decide if you want to use up or down strokes. So um, let's look at the, the uh, intro to the song and uh, really the first verse of the song, and then we'll break it down. takes us from the intro to uh, the first chorus. I, I think of it as a series of, of uh, three sets of two. Uh, the first grip is just on, all these uh, grips really are played on the D, G, and B string again. We're going to grab second fret on D and G, leave our, um, our B string, which is an A note, open. And we're just going to, again, do that pattern that I already described twice. In my case, I'm pulling out my ring finger to leave the G string uh, open. So essentially it's two and two, D and G, and then open, B open, G open, second fret D string. So that's the first set. Of, uh, I, I think of it as two, two different uh, chord grips. The next set of two is uh, back to where we started. Second fret D, second fret G, open B. To this grip, second fret D, third fret G string, second fret B string. So it moves between those two. See, I do it by kind of uh, making a move where I shift, um, I shift my uh, third finger up a fret and then drop in my first finger across the D and the B string. A little slower. That's just what feels comfortable for me. The grip could also be played uh, with first finger on the D string, second finger on the B, and ring finger on the G. So it would be. Sorry. That just obviously feels a little more awkward for me, so I do it this way. our second set of two. The last set is just a bar across D, G, and B on the second fret. And then dropping in my middle finger on the third fret of G, my ring finger on the fourth fret of B. And that particular sequence is used a great deal in the song. So let's put that all together, uh, maybe two passes on each of those changes real slowly. the verse.
chorus up into the first chorus. The first chorus is um, basically the same um, chord change. <laughs> G and fourth fret, B. Then it moves back to this original position. And then to finish out the chorus, we're going to go up to a C sharp minor. I'm using my ring finger to play the low E string, pinky to play the A string, both of those on the ninth fret. First finger is on the seventh fret of D, and my second finger is here on the G string uh, on the um, eighth fret. I'm gonna get in the bottom four strings. I'm gonna slide that all the way down to this position where my ring and pinky are on the fourth fret. And then all the way up here in the same exact. Uh, chord position or chord grip position on the 11th fret with my uh, ring finger and pinky. So all together. Then it, to finish off the end of the chorus. Is that twice? Just open. Second fret D, second fret G. And then again. And then back into, I guess you call it another verse. ideas we've already covered and then back to now the bridge is really a series of the same chord grip it's really fairly easy uh, it's a bar and then using my ring finger now I'm going to go and place it two frets up from the bar on the D string wherever I am on the fretboard I'm always going to be in that that position, that relationship. So we're going to start it on. Um, we're going to start it on the seventh fret, and I always think in terms of four. I'm picking low E string, D string, G string, B string, and then coming back and hitting the E, the G string again. I guess it's five. Set of four. Sorry about that. Then I'm going to move it down to the third fret, fifth fret, first fret, third fret, fifth fret, just a little hammer, and then just a straight bar. So the first section of the bridge again. on the 10th fret with the bar down to 6 up to 8 down to 3 5 and then the same idea on 7 all that together
different. Do that twice, just open. Then two and two. Again. And then you're going to stay in this position for the rest of the song out. Just like we started the song. again. Two of these. And four of these. Maybe one of the coolest songs I've ever heard. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoy working it out.